Hello friends, subscribe technology and press the bell button to regular updates. Hey what's up guys, welcome back to my channel technology and I'm back with another exciting video. So in this video, I'm going to talk about uh, parent controller on Windows operating system. If you don't know about parent controller, then I must tell you this kind of technique by which you can block any of your uh, application or restrict any of your application from your user. Also, I will show you how to restrict your drives on your user. So you just need to follow me and don't forget to subscribe my channel because it's really encouraged me and motivate me to make more videos like this. And as well as you will get a notification on your mobile phone. So please do subscribe guys. It's free. So before I will start my video, I must tell you in my background, there have too much noise on my background. So, so sorry for that. So to set up parent control on your computer, first you need to uh, uh, click on your start menu. And after that, you have to select your logo from here, your user logo, or you can go through your control panel also. Just click on your start menu and then control panel then you have to select a large or small icon from here i will choose large icon as you can see and after that scroll down and you have to select this option is called user accounts after that you will you will directly uh, go to that location as you can see the both the location are same so now uh, as you can see i am logging with technology and this account is uh, my personal account and this is the administrative account as you can see it's uh, clearly written on their administrator that's mean this is the administrator account uh, to create a new account for your computer for your for your uh, home user you need to click on your manage account manage another account as you can see so uh, right now I am uh, off the case account is off as you can see so I'm turn off the case account so it's not required for this so uh, first i will create one account near new account for my my home user so click on this create uh, new account and now i need to type any name on there like uh, my brother name is andy so i will type on there andy as you can see uh, so now if you will choose this administrator account then he will get all the permission like you so i will not uh, going to do that I will only uh, choose this standard user and uh, I will restrict some drives and application uh, restriction for him so I will choose standard user and after that you have to click on create account and click on create account and after that as you can see it's showing administrator technology administrator password protected and this is the Andy username Andy and this is a standard user and this is not an administrator account and there have no password set yet for this account so I will directly click on this uh, Andy user and after that I will create one password for this so I will create one password like ASDF anything you can choose or you can or you can put anything uh, for your uh, for your password for your standard user password and yeah, uh, now you need to click on this create account uh, create password so so now it's successfully showing password protected and the standard user account is successfully created so now what I have to do or you can uh, so this is a simple process by which you can create a user for your computer uh, for your uh, computer and you can also uh, uh, right click on your my computer and click on this manage button and through that way you can also create user account I will show you you have to click on this local user this one uh, and after that you need to click on this double click on this user and after that you have to right click on there and uh, click on this new user and through this way you can also create a user account so these are uh, uh, lengthy process so I will show you this is a simple method by which you can create your own account so now I will going to restrict some application ap application restriction and uh, drive access restriction for this user okay for this end user so what I have to do so so two way you can uh, 
set up parent control for your user one is uh, you can go through your uh, run command so you need to put this command on your run box is control slash name microsoft dot parental control through that way you can and click on ok and you will go to this location as you can see or you can uh, you can go to start menu and type on there just p a r e n just type on there after that you will get uh, so many search re uh, result on there and as you can see here is showing parental controls so through this way you can um, uh, go uh, in, in this location uh, two way now one is run command another one is through your start menu okay so now what i have to do i need to click on that user which i want to uh, restrict some application and uh, uh, drive access protection so i need to click on this andy user and after that click on this yes button as you can see yes button click on yes after that you need to click on this on enforce current settings so you need to turn on these features and after that as you can see it will be automatically uh, whenever you will choose this option it will automatically uh, enable for uh, this this option for you uh, there that is allow and block specific programs okay so you need to click on there so now you need to choose this option select and they can only use the programs which i allow okay so you need to choose this option after that you need to wait for some time your all the application path is loading as you can see so you have to wait for some time so now it's successfully loaded as you can see so through this uh through this menu you can select which program you which you allow to use your uh users okay so uh, you can uh, i will only uh, uh unrestrict this uh, uh this game this nfs game for uh, for my brother otherwise i don't want to give him access all this program so just check this uh, check this uh, application which you want to allow for him so check this one i will check this nfs game and i will choose um choose another program which is steam this one okay and click on ok after that click on ok so it's set perfectly uh, set properly and and through this way you cannot uh, cannot uh, set a uh, dive access for your user to dive access uh, to uh, uh, if you want to protect your drive from your user then you have to uh, uh, this process will be not work you have to go to uh, your group policy management settings so for that you need to open your run to pressing windows and r button together and after that you need to type on there uh, gpedit.msc okay this command you need to put there gpedit.msc okay after that you need to or you can uh, type on their group policy and group policy as you can see here is a group policy edit setting automatically through this way also you can uh, go to this local group policy editor so i will directly go through uh, this run command so just uh, put their gpd.msc so don't worry with that i will give you this uh, command to my video description so after that click on ok and now what i have to do i need to expand this uh, so as you can see under user configuration there was one option is called administrative templates so i need to expand this option and after that i need to expand this windows components okay so now i will get one option is called windows explorer this one okay so in windows 10 you will not get this option uh, because i am using windows 7 for windows 10 you will get one option on there is called new op option for this uh, which is called file explorer uh, file explorer option on there so uh, in windows 7 uh, you will not get file explorer option you will get only windows explorer option okay so in the windows explorer uh, so under uh, windows explorer whenever you will click on under 
this windows explorer you will get one option on your right corner uh, which is parental access to drive from my computer okay so same thing for windows 10 also so you need to double click on there and after that you need to uh, you need to enable enable this one this parental control enable this and after that you need to select uh, here from restrict all the drives from here and after that click on apply and ok ok it's done so now I'm going to switch my user so just click on there and click on switch user so switch to user and now I will get a two user as you can see successfully getting a two user one is Andy another one is technology so I will directly click on this and uh, Andy and after that I will put that password which I already set for Andy and after that click on enter so it's showing preparing your desktop 